Hey, this is Nate from MMI with another MMI Tech training video. Today I'd like to talk to you about one of the many lines we represent, Backstop. Backstop offers a full line of thermal expansion tanks, hydronic tanks, and well tanks, including ASME welded versions of their tanks. For this training, I'd like to focus in on thermal expansion tanks. So what is thermal expansion? When water is heated, it expands in volume by 2 to 3 percent. Depending on the size of the water heater, this can mean as much as 2 or 3 extra gallons of water in a closed system. If there is no one using hot water, there is nowhere for the expanded water to go. This puts a tremendous amount of stress on the steel tank, as well as the rest of the plumbing system. What are some signs you may be experiencing thermal expansion? Well, you may see your hot and cold water lines start to bow in as the steel tank expands. You may get water dripping out of the temperature and pressure relief valve due to excessive pressure building up in the water heater. Or worst case scenario, you may have a burst steel tank. All of this can be prevented with the use of a thermal expansion tank. So what is a thermal expansion tank? A thermal expansion tank is a safety device for use on closed loop plumbing systems. Closed loop systems are much more common today than they were even just a few years ago. You may have heard someone say their old water heater lasted for years without a leak, but their new water heater started leaking in just a couple years. This is in part due to the plumbing system changes in recent years. Check valves, now in water meters and water softeners, cut off the ability for water to thermally expand back against the city supply. Check valves at the meter are important as they prevent a house that could potentially back siphon contaminated water from a hose bib with no vacuum breaker or a mop sink faucet hose back to the city supply. Now when water expands due to heating, it has nowhere to go. Thermal expansion tanks are used to protect from dripping valves, extend the life of a water heater, and protect against damage due to excessive pressure. Something that is incredibly important but often overlooked is the fact that you must charge the expansion tank with air before installation. Expansion tanks are shipped pre-charged from the factory with only around 30 to 35 PSI. The contractor must charge the tank to within 0 to 3 PSI of the incoming water pressure of the house before installing the expansion tank in the line. Failure to do so will result in improper protection of the water heater and premature failure. Here are some basic guidelines to consider when installing an expansion tank. After charging the tank, install the tank in a vertical position 18 inches from the water heater. Ensure the piping system can support the weight of the tank when full of water. Use strapping, brackets, or pipe hangers as needed. Install the expansion tank in the incoming water line to the water heater between the water heater and the check valve. Proper thread sealant should be used in order to ensure a leak-free installation. Open a hot water faucet prior to turning the water supply to the system back on to remove air from the line. After turning the water back on, inspect for leaks. This chart can be helpful when sizing an expansion tank. In most cases, a 2-gallon expansion tank will suffice. For larger water heaters, a 4.5-gallon expansion tank may be required. For multiple heaters, use the total volume of each heater including any storage tanks. Thermal expansion tanks, hydronic tanks, and well tanks are all in stock at MMI. We even keep some ASME tanks for emergencies. Give us a call for more details. Send us an email or visit our website at mmirep.com. Thanks.